In this example we'll look at a slightly more complex program. This is a, a guess the number program. Um, the, the task is the computer picks around a random number, the player enters the guess, the computer is going to say too high, too low or correct, and then print out the number and the number of attempts. Second part of the program, the game should give the player a chance for another go once they've guessed correctly. Now we need to break this into, into two halves, decompose the problem. Let's deal with the logic first and then repetition afterwards. And for our logic we can look at the variables. We know you're going to need a random number, the number to guess. We know we're going to need a guess. We know we're going to need to keep track of the number of outputs. Let's solve that problem first. So let's start by declaring our variables and we'll have First of all, we'll have the number we're looking for, so we'll call that number to guess. Let's keep things simple, let's make it a, uh, an integer. And let's create a variable called attempts. And again, let's have that as an integer. We're going to need to set that to the start, so let's assign that one. Because that's going to need to be zero to start with. And then let's look at uh, a variable called guess. It's going to be the one we're looking for. We'll call that my guess. And we'll add one extra variable, because we need to know whether the thing's been found or not. So let's declare a variable called found and we'll make that one a boolean and we'll look at the reason for that one later. So how's our game going to work? Well let's deal with the logic. First thing we've got to do is take a number in, check if it's a number, say yes, too high, too low and we need to generate the number that's going to be guessing with. So let's start with this one. So let's assign a variable and we'll assign um, number to guess and we'll make that a random number. We'll use the random function and we'll take it out of 50. Let's make it fairly, fairly straightforward. Let's ask for a guess. Please enter a guess. And let's take in the guess. Uh, my guess. Now let's test this first bit works. So let's have an output here. Let's output number two guess. Now we're doing this for two reasons. It's going to make it a lot easier to test if we've got it on the screen. And we can always take it out later. And then we know that random number generation bit is working. So let's test it. So 13, it's asking for a variable. It's not going to do anything, but for 24 in. And if we run it again, see if we get a different number, 30. So we know that random number bit is now working. So now we need to deal with the logic. We've got the guess in here. So we need to know whether we've got the answer right or wrong. So if my guess is double equal sign number two guess we can then have an output correct the number was ampersand number two guess Ampersand, you took Ampersand attempts Ampersand goes. So it's going to say how many attempts it took us. Now we've got the attempts here, it started at zero. As soon as they ask for a guess, I think it's important we obviously need to add one to that. So let's assign. Attempts equals attempts equals 
attempts plus one. Let's add one to it. So we've now got that bit. So let's check that bit works. So 18, if I type in 18, correct, you know, was 18, you took one go, one goes. Let's deal with that bit. We just want the space in there. We can't really deal much without the uh, positive and negatives in there. But we'll, uh, we'll run that. So 46, you took another space needed in there. As I say, I can't really do it about the whether that's pluralized or not. So we want a space just there. So 42, that looks nicer. One goes, don't like that, but it's not a lot we can do about it. Now let's deal with the false side. So we're going to need another if statement here because we know if it's correct, this time we need to know whether it's uh, too high or too low. So if we say if number to guess is greater than uh, my guess, we want to say to hello otherwise oops too many too high okay let's test that bit so we know it's 25 we know it works if it's correct but let's go with 24 too low not asking us for another number though so we need to get this whole thing inside a while loop to get that bit to work so all of this stuff from this point here where we're outputting and asking for a number needs to be inside a while loop so just here going to add a while loop we created a variable called found earlier so we're going to say while found is equal to lowercase false we need to make sure we set found to false somewhere near the start so let's just do that here so assign let's make found because it hasn't been found yet So now we need to move all of this stuff inside that while loop. Now that's quite simple. We'll just highlight everything, cut it, and paste it inside there. Now the one thing we must remember to do is once we found it, we need to set found to be true. So assign found true so let's test that this now this logic of the game works we know this bit works but let's check that this repetition keep going until it's found bit works so please enter a guess we're looking for nine so we'll go too low asks for another one we'll go too high asks for another one we'll go just right correct you took three goes so that bits working and the program is stopped which is what we wanted so that's the first part of our program working this bit here we now need to give the player a chance for another go so we're going to need to declare a couple of variables we're going to need to take in a response and we're going to need to keep track of whether they want to play again or not so let's create a new variable up here let's create a variable called again and let's make that a boolean and let's create another variable called we 
response and let's make that a string now we're going to need to set again to be true so just here I'm going to set again to be true and everything inside the program now all of this lot is going to run while again is equal to true so just here I'm going to do another while loop and I'm going to say while again is equal to true and once again we're going to move the whole program inside this while loop so let's highlight all of that lot and put it inside all of that oops missing a bit highlight all of that lot let's cut it and put it inside this while loop so all so again is true it will always run while it's inside this again is true while again equals true loop so we now need to deal with how do we break out of this loop so once they've found the answer we'll have an output press y to play again or any other key to exit now if you use the any other key we can only it means now we have to check for uppercase and lowercase y's everything else automatically means they want to end so let's take an input in and we had a variable called response for that and then let's check what they're asking so let's have an if statement so if response is equal to y or response is equal to a lowercase y then again can remain true so again is true if we don't want to play again again we can set to false and it's probably prudent to have a little message there so they know they're exiting to say thanks for playing okay so let's see if it all works together so we'll go too low we'll go too high we'll check that it answers correctly we're looking for 49 do you want to play again well let's try a lowercase yes and the program stopped it didn't work let's have a look at why okay after having a quick look <clears throat> we can see these variables here they're outside of our loop so when it goes back it's just going straight back this this again is true it's not picking up a new number so let's just copy these three variables let's cut them out let's just kind of do that a minute let's paste it there and did that one as well let's paste that one as well so now that's all being asked for inside the loop I've taken one out that I didn't need that one there. Let's put that one back okay let's try that again so 36 let's go 35 37 36 let's say yes I want to play again so 11 enter a guess do 11 let's use a capital Y that's working 19 and let's say no and now everything is working so we've now got 
a full program solved in two halves we made some mistakes as we were going along we looked at why they were problems and fixed them so the computer picks a random number yes it does that they can enter a guess too high too low number of attempts it does that and should give the player another chance all those things are solved within this program so let's have a look at the code in full declaring our variables this while true loop here while again that's the one that let's keep repeating until someone says no while found is the bit that repeats it when it's not being found here's the logic for the guess if they get it correct output yes or no for our do I want to play again if it's yes when it comes back here it'll start again if it's no when it comes back here it won't and this is the if we don't get the guess right too high or too low comes back found is false that only exits when found is true thanks for watching this video and we'll have a look at another problem in the next video